Welcome and um, up to the previous um, theoretical session of our adaptive view. This time I'm going to uh, demonstrate to you the very frequently used adaptive view, um, which is the um, least view. Uh, and also I would like to demonstrate to you about the how to use the array adapter. So we're going to create a new um, um, Android project and name this one as, um, 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 let's say, um, least view, least view demo. Okay, let's build demo next. Then um, next, this choose appropriate um, um, API of the and I'll choose plan activity next. I mean activity finish as well. Okay. Wait for um, the pro wait for their um, project to load. Takes us sometimes. Takes us sometimes time. Okay. When um, the project is loaded in, in this application, I'm going to um, give an array of. I'm going to take this a fixed array of, of names. Let's say meter A, meter B, meter C. Okay, just like um, our uh, theoretical part that I explained before. When I take an array of names, okay, we'll take an array of names. Let's say, like this: um, um, meter A, meter B, meter C, meter D. Okay, and you pass it into array adapter. And in order to um, use an array adapter, you're going to specify how to display a single item. Then you're going to be able to give the data to the list view. So we're going to get to the design of this. Collapse this one, collapse this one. So from this, I want to delete this one. Then I want to drag in here from the container. I want to drag in here a uh, list view. Okay. By default, the list view is um, for, the, um, um, for the width and the height. It's, 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 is like this. So we're gonna look at this one. So for the width and the height, both are wrap content for the list view. Let's just keep. Um, let's just make sure. Uh, yeah, just just enough. Uh, just just fine. Let's just keep um, our, our ID for this one so that we can refer um, reference to um, this list view later on. So we're gonna give list view list view names. Okay. I'll give this one list view name. Then we'll get back to the code. Um, on create after creating, we're going to uh, load data to the list view. So you're going to have a, an array of name string. Okay, a names equal to let's say meter a. Okay, miss b. Okay, meter c. Okay, meter d. So on and so forth. Okay. Um, and, and to use the adapter later on besides using this fixed array of data again you can load the data from a resource XML resource file or you can load the data from a database as well using cursor adapter this time we will just pass this one into a um, pass it into an adapter okay so you're gonna use array adapter okay and um, this one is a generic class and you're gonna specify that we're gonna get on a adapter of the of data types with the string because our names is is array of strings. Then this one is gonna put name adapter equal to new array adapter. Okay. And then uh, you don't have to specify an uh, um, this array adapter, right? You will have to specify okay in order to know what uh, what what um, input parameters uh, arguments that you have to 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 specify. You're gonna press command P for Mac and you can press Control P. Control P for Windows to know the signature. This one, you can press um, Control uh, P to know the signature of the, the, the methods or what need to be input, or you can put um, Command P in case of Mac. Okay, so let's say I'm, I'm, I, I know uh, I need to know which one I need to input, and I'll do Command P. Okay, so I need to input several of the components like, like there. So the first, I need to specify the context. So I want to specify this as a context. The next component, which is which is the layout resource file. Once more, you need to specify the the layout resource file to tell the um, 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 list view or tell the array adapter how to display each single item for each of this item. How do is how do we display? And we can create our custom layout file. However. For many, um, for many um, uh, views, let's say list view, okay, grid views, um, 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 uh, uh, spinner view, so on and so forth. A lot of them need this kind of layer. So instead of creating it manually, 
uh, normally Android won't provide you some default layout. Okay, Android won't provide you some default layout, which is called uh, Android.rr for resources dot um, um, layout dot. You know, let's say you can use some some built-in layout, built-in layout okay, in order to um, display um, to, to know how to display a single item again this one is rs where it's resource but android built-in resource so you have to prefix it with android it's different from um, r only the one with r only is our custom resource in our own project but this one is the resource of android okay so again this one we're going to specify r dot um, layout dot uh, um, mm, Let's say no. This is not our. This R dot is is our layout. We need to use Android built-in layout. So Android dot R dot okay layout dot okay and and you see you have a list of many um 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 um, um, um layout file is can be used in order to display um a single item. These are um all the frequently used items, and we're gonna use the uh, uh, uh simple list item number one. Again, this one is this a layout file. This I wanna re right click on this one and you're gonna see. And you're gonna see let's say I'm going to um go to the declaration. Go to declaration. This one is search a light alpha. Okay, this one is search a light alpha. And inside this light alpha, um, 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 we are specifying we are specifying only one text view. Okay, only one text view, which is text one. Which means for each of which means this one, which means this one, this single item is a text view. So which means for each of the item, we're gonna take it and display on an instance of the text view. Okay, and this one is Android resource, not our resource. Android resource. Okay, so we're going to use that item, and of course, to create this adapter, you need to pass in the array itself in order to display. Okay, the array itself in order to display. Then after having this array adapter with enough information of how to display a single item, the list of items, okay, then you uh, for uh, for each of the item is gonna create an object of this one, an instance of this one, and put the data in. Then now you're going to put this one into. Um, you're gonna access the list view. So list view, okay, list view students. Oh, sorry, list view names equal to. Um, list view. This one is find view by find view by id r dot id dot um, find view by id r dot again um, yeah, r, r dot list view names against against the the r here is our custom resource the the resource of our own projects. Okay, yeah, but this r is Android resource, so you're gonna have this one resource. So you have this Android prefix. The two r are different. Okay, the two are a different. Then you're going to set the adapter. Set the adapter. So you can take list view names dot dot set adapter okay, to um to names adapter. Okay, to name adapter. So if you run this one now, if you run this one now, you will see a list of item list. Okay, uh, this one here. Now uh, we're going to um, use this emulator and it's the same um, device for the future launches. Okay, click on OK. Then if we see from here, you'll see the list of students like meter A, miss B, uh, meter C, and meter D uh, listed here. You'll see some of the um, um, grid line over here because this screen size is now small. So so the some of the grid line that you don't see, but actually there should be some grid lines this way. Okay, so you can click on this item as well. So that one is about um, using um, adapter views and taking data as um, um, array put into array adapter and put into here. Now the next thing that I would like to do is we're going to do handling handling events for this um, 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 this list view. So if we click on this one, it should know how to um, um, do something with it. So in this case, we're going to um, write a method to handle on okay handle on item um, click so you're gonna do list view okay list view list view names dot set on item click listener okay on item clicks listener you want to say new on item click listener enter 
okay and it's gonna over we need to override on item click this method is interesting so if you click on an item it's gonna um, pass you the information about the adapter view which is a list view that you are you are you are you are, you are working with now then it's gonna return you the view okay which is the single okay the adapter view is the whole list views this way okay uh, but um, but um, the views here is only one single item let's say this is text view one one single item and the position as well you can use the position as well okay the position is the position of the items that that you you are selecting you're clicking let's say this position is zero this position is one two and three correspondingly okay or you can uh, get the id or the, uh, the 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 items here as well okay you got the id of the items here as well okay let's say the text view each of this item is a text view so you can get the idea of the text view as well but then this time I think I'm gonna use the um, position because if you select on this one it's, it's gonna be zero select on this one but be one because this position is this position is the same as the index of this array okay so based on this array based on that array I'm going to do based on that array I'm going to do um, um, string selected name equal to names of the positions over there okay uh, and and you know this is an inner class okay this is an inner class this and this one is an um, inner um, objects of this this class okay then uh, the names is in the outer class which is in this class so in order for us to be able to access to these names we need to declare this one as finer okay we need to declare that one as finer then you'll be able to get into the uh, names over here so if you know the selected name um, i'm going to try to toast a message dot make text the context normally you type this okay normally you type this but in this case if you type this it is not right but because this is an instance of the on um, item click listener it is not an instance of main activity so it's not an activity so it doesn't have the context information over there so uh, this doesn't work so you're going to use um, get base context over here Okay. After that, you're going to um, specify the selected name. Okay. Then you need to specify toast.lang long. And you're going to dot show. Okay. You're going to do dot show over here. Okay. You're going to do dot show over here. So right after this, you won't be able to handle the on item click listener. Okay. So if I click on run this one now. Okay. Click on run this one now. It's running now. Okay. Then if you click on meter A, you'll say it's, it's toasted a message meter A over here. If you click on Miss B, it's toast your other message, which is Miss B. If you click on meter C, it's going to toast another message, which is meter C. You can make use of this view as well once more and get the text out of it. You, and you, you make use of this view and you do know that uh, your view here is an instance of, your view is in, an instance of this one. Okay, and it's an instance of this one. And um, uh, instance of this one is actually a text view. Okay, it's actually a text view. So you can cast, you can cast this view, you can cast this view into a text view, and you can get text out. Okay, you can get the text out. Okay, let's say, um, let's, let's just give an example. So I'm gonna be able to do string selected name equal to. You can cast the um, views into text view. Okay, because the view over there is a text view. Okay, the view that you click is a this one the view that you click is an object of this um, uh, an instance of this layer inside this um, layer of file which is a text view so you cast that view into text view then you dot you can get text out of it then you convert it to string okay it is the same approach here so if you run this one if you run this one okay and you're going to be able to click on this one it still does the same thing click on this one does the same thing Okay, meter array and so forth. You can use another approach, which is you can use this idea of the item. Okay, but then uh, I'll leave it as an exercise for you to test. Okay, for the um, um, adap array adapter, you can load the um, data from the XML file as well. Okay, or uh, you can load, um, um, or or you can load it from the database using um, a cursor adapter. Let's say if you would like to create an, an XML file for the resource, you're gonna go to a resource over here and you go to values you will be able to uh, right click on this one okay new xml you can choose um, values xml file from there you're going to be able to choose let's say uh, uh, um, name values 
name values okay and from this resource i'm going to be able to put a string array array of string name is um, names okay and then from this one you'll put item let's say meter a over here meter good this um, meter a meter b uh, meter c meter uh, d meter e let's say or let's say meter uh, miss b uh, meter c miss d okay meter e so you can create an array of items this way then you could also and you can create an array of items this way and then you could use this array of items inside the um, 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 inside the uh, using the uh, you can load it into an adapter let's say you're going to use an adapter let's say you're gonna use this and do this okay uh, you're gonna put this one into an adapter so is this one you're gonna use array adapter okay of uh, character sequence okay then this one is name adapter equal to um, um equal to array adapter dot create from resource okay create from resource so this one you need to use create from resource and to uh, create the data from resource you need to pass it in the context so this one is a context next you need to specify the um, resource id okay you need to specify the um, 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 text array resource id so this resource id is r dot id dot um, um, no r dot this our custom resource r dot um, 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 value no r dot array okay uh, and that one is names okay this one is the um, array that we we are having this one this one this one is array with names is names okay from this name values then r dot array dot names uh, then next we need to specify the next one which is uh, the layout of how to display a simple item and this one is coming from an um, android built-in resource resource so android uh, dot r dot layout dot um, simple list item okay then you could put this name adapter okay into the list view and it works simply okay so you see currently you have four um, elements inside this one inside this one okay uh, four elements inside this array but then we run uh, get into um, the data items from this array oh sorry from this array okay uh, then uh, uh, this list okay uh, this array of, of resource file then you'll see from here this time we don't use these names anymore okay we don't use these names array anymore but then uh, from here it will still works okay sorry I need to put a, a semicolon over here uh, from here it still works this one will not work okay this approach will not work because we don't have the array of names anymore but this approach won't work but this approach won't work because you're going to get into the view itself that you click on so uh, if you run this one if you run this one you could now again uh, using this method to load to the the, the um, 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 array from resource file xml resource file so you see meter a miss b meter c miss d uh, meter e is all the values that you loaded from here okay all the values that you loaded from here Okay. And of course, you can use other types of um, um, adapter views, let's say list view, okay, or grid view, um, and a spinner view. Okay. You can test it um, yourself.